Did you call the scrunchies Molly May for clout? Peel. It's really sad that I have to say that. Oh. Hello there and welcome back. Hi and welcome to a brand new video and this is going to be a rather long awaited one. Oh, let me silence the mobile telephone devices. But today I'm going to be trying out the Shane Dawson, no, Jeffree Star x Shane Dawson conspiracy palette. Now, this literally arrived whilst I was away in Amsterdam. Um, and I have only opened it and looked at it. I haven't tried it. I haven't touched it. I haven't swatched it. I have done none of the above. Um, it's actually collected dust because I haven't touched it since I bought it. But yes, this is the bad boy. So obviously this is going to be a get ready with me. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm also going to talk you guys through my Picanita X Misha Grimes collection. As I thought, because obviously it's a brand new thing for me, there's quite a lot of questions and assumptions. And I thought if I put, you know, two big launches, I'm definitely not putting myself in the same category as Shane Dawson, FYI. But it's a big deal to me and this is also a big deal to me. So I thought I would put them together in a video and yeah, we can get ready. I've got lots of new makeup products to try out. And I just thought it'd be a bit fun to have a sit down, chill video whilst I'm... Um <laughs> whilst I answer your guys' assumptions about my Pick and Eats collection. I am currently wearing one of the Molly May scrunchies. This is the bow style. I've kind of got it in like the half Ariana Grande style hairdo. I am going to be posting an IGTV where I show you the million and one ways to style these goodies. So stay tuned on my Instagram for that. But in case you're living under a rock, this is my Pick and Eats X Misha Grimes collection. It's loads of accessories from beaded socks, to headbands galore like literally of course i will link it down below because there is a million and one pieces well actually there's how many one two three four five six seven seven i swear there's more than that i'm counting the scrunchies as uh, one whole piece rather than three individual but anyway yes so I'm so proud of this collection. I know you guys have absolutely been obsessed with it and it makes me so, so happy. But, of course, with every single launch, there's got to be a little bit of negative press. So we're going to go there. But, first off, let's start off by priming my face. Um, I'm going to take this. I'm going to try not to use products I always use. I'm going to try and go outside the box. Um, and I'm going to take this Too Faced Hangover Good In Bed ultra replenishing hydrating serum i love me a serum they just feel great on the skin especially this time of year when it's such vile weather i think we could all do with a serum rub that bad boy in i'm just gonna put that on and let it set and then i'm gonna zoom you guys in we're gonna well no, actually should we first talk about the palette so it arrives this was ordered from beauty bay by the way i managed to somehow get it on the day of launch honestly i'm not sure how um but i did and i really didn't think it was going to arrive like i thought they sold it to me and it was out of stock but i've got the bad boy so when i'm filming this video beauty bay have restocked the palette and it's currently in stock so i'll link it down below but for all i know it could not be in stock i don't know but hopefully it is for you guys if you do want to get it now i only got the palette rather than the mini palette or any of the lipsticks or things like that i kind of wish i did get some of the lipsticks because i do really like them like the shades of like the red one and things like that but i thought i'm gonna stick with the palette now this palette is 48 pounds which i actually was surprised it was that price i thought it'd be more expensive um so i was quite pleased with that price um, that's actually more expensive than all of the items in my Picanita collection. None of the items in my Picanita collection come up to that price, just to give that as a, like, point of reference. Obviously, this is an eyeshadow palette, and you will eventually use this up, or it will break, or, like, the shadows will, like, go off. Whereas, with hair accessories, none of the above. Unless you sit on the headbands like I have because I'm an idiot. But no, I'm not like slating this pa this collaboration and pushing up mine. I'm just putting as a point of reference in terms of price because I feel like it has the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star name on it. So then we think that the price is more affordable when actually £48 for an eyeshadow palette 
Is that a lot? Is that not a lot? I don't know. We'll find out when I try it out because it's all about the quality. That is what I'm focusing on. So yes, here we have the packaging of Conspiracy um, and it has like all the different logos, um, Jeffree Star's YouTube, all the ingredients. I don't care about the ingredients. Um, as long as my eyes are fine, I'm happy. So yes, that's the little box. And then this is the carton. Now, obviously we all saw like the dramas that they went through. Um, and personally, I liked this one that they did pick in the end. Do I think this is the most practical thing to chuck in my makeup bag when I'm going away for the weekend? Hell no, it is not. But is it quite cool and very Jeffree Star and very Shane Dawson? Million percent yes. I love this like textured, um, like separate fabric. It's like a metal logo. I almost want to like take that out and I don't know what to do with it. Um, the font here, it's like matte against like a glossy box, which does look quite good. Don't know how I feel about the words having a gap, but that's just me visually. Um, and then we open up this bad boy. Again, not the most practical, having a little like fasten lock situation but cool, so who cares? And then the back, it's the exact same thing, Jeffree Star's Instagram, Jeffree Star's YouTube. And then we open up the bad boy. Oh, let's do that really satisfying thing where we peel off the plastic. We've got a good size mirror. I'm very happy that there is a mirror. I would have been very disappointed if there wasn't a mirror. Now, here we have all of the shades. Now I'm, oh, you can see yourself in there. <laughs> and my ring light. I'm not gonna swatch all of them. I am no makeup artist, but they look beautiful. I went for this palette because I thought it'd be the most wearable one for me. There is a lot of wearable shades. The only ones that I think would scare people is probably What's the Tea and Food Vibes. Otherwise, I think even Trisha, like I think Trisha is very wearable. I think Cheese Dust is very wearable. I actually don't think it's that out there. And I think a lot of us were concerned when the collaboration came out that it would be too out there. But these pieces are very wearable. And a bit like my Pick Me collection, very wearable, you know. You can style one with pajamas. These are really cute pajama set actually. It's from Skinny Dip. Um, and it's like, little shorts and a little jumper and it's really cute and cozy um but anyway okay i'm going to prime my eyes um uh, with some concealer and then we're gonna get going i will probably zoom you guys in because we're gonna start with eyeshadow now obviously i want to use loads of the shades but i also can't use all of them in one eyeshadow look because i am not that skilled and also I uh, need both eyes to be matching. In an ideal world, I would do one eyeshadow on one eye and one eyeshadow on another eye, but you're just gonna have to stay tuned on my Instagram. Maybe I'll do some like Instagram stories or an IGTV where I do different looks. But okay, I'm just gonna prime my eyelids with some concealer. Any concealer will do, it literally doesn't matter okay and i'm also gonna get the ball rolling with my first question from my piccanita assumptions also my nails were inspired by my piccanita collection so they literally go so well like they actually match the box the christmas box so i asked you guys to make them brutal and I mean, you came through with the brutalness. I'm not gonna lie to you. The first one that I'm actually reading is you found out how to pronounce Picanita when you started working with them. That is accurate. I used to call it Piquenta, Pic Pican. I had no clue. And literally in the first meeting with the girls, I went, please, 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 can you tell me how I actually pronounce it? Because I'm an idiot. Now that I know it's Picanita, I can't see how I pronounced it incorrectly in the past, but. It's Picanita for anyone wondering. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Tanacon. I'm not gonna lie, the shade Tanacon surprises me that that's Tanacon because it's quite like a muted shade. I would put like a vibrant color with her, but you know, each to their own. I'm just gonna kind of like floof this across my lid. I actually don't have any Jeffree Star products. I used to have a highlight, but somehow it went missing. Um. But otherwise, I've literally never used a Jeffree Star eyeshadow. So this is going to be interesting. The next question I'm going to move on to is, it's really sad that I have to say that. Did you call the scrunchies Molly Mae for clout? Now, 
This kind of teams in with one of the questions of what are the best sellers. Now the best sellers is the scrunchie set, which I'm not surprised about because it's obviously three items for the price of one, which is great and you can create lots of different looks with it. And it's one of the cheaper items of the collection. But it was coincidental that that set was called Molly. And I by no means think that it's the most sold one the top seller because it's called Molly. I think it's just because the item it is. No offense, Moll. Um, and no, I didn't call it Molly May for some clout. I I explained in my announcement video why I called it Molly May because she is the reason that I started YouTube. So I felt like it was a very justified reasoning. Um, we know I've said this a million times. If I wanted to get clout from Moll, I would do it in a completely different way. And that's not me. I don't care that much. Um, I want to do well off my own back. I want my collection to do well off my own back. It was a dedication to her rather than anything else. But yeah, the Molly May scrunchies are the top seller. And I do think that is because they're the most versatile piece per se. But all the pieces are so, so versatile. Um, and yeah, I love them. I love the scrunchies, no matter the name. I actually was going to call Molly one of the headbands until like literally the last moment. Um, but I changed my mind. So that's the tea, sis. Ooh. Now back to the eyeshadow look. I actually have absolutely no clue what colour look I want to go for. Like there's so many different ones. I'm like I could just go for a brown but is that a bit boring? Do I go for like a ready pink? I don't know there's too many options. Oh also I'm using this new brush set that I've got from BH Cosmetics. I don't know if it's any good but it looks cute so I thought I'd give them a whirl. I'm gonna go with Flaming Hot um, and tap off the excess and this is where we're going to see what the pigment's like and how it blends hello hi pigment nice to meet you okay i think actually i'm not going to use a brand new brush because i'm concerned that the brush isn't very good at blending and that's making me think the eyeshadow isn't very good at blending so it's just shimmy shimmy I'm going to use one of my Morphe brushes. So, just gonna... Okay, yeah, that's made a lot of difference. Now that's blending really, really well. It's a very nice shade of... It's not like a red red, it's like a pinky red. Or would you say that's a red red? I'd say it's a pink toned red. Okay. So me going outside my comfort zone and not doing pinks has kind of not gone to plan. But I'll show you what I have in mind. So this would be a really good Christmas eyeshadow look I'm feeling, but that is what's going on. Let's repeat on the other eye and let's do it question. Now, there were quite a few questions about the prices of the items. Now, with the prices, we wanted to cover every single aspect. So we wanted to make the more luxurious pieces and the more fancy pieces, the more special occasion pieces, so that you guys could treat yourself to them a bit like the, let's grab a prop, the Chloe crown. So the Chloe crown is £34. And as I said earlier, this is going to last you a lifetime. So I really don't think that that is such a high price tag, in my opinion. Um, and also... The Chloe Crown is actually one of the best sellers and this is the most expensive item. So I do think that that just reflects that this is a beautiful piece and it's worth every single penny, just like all the other headbands and pieces are. But we wanted to have an array of prices. So if you wanted to pick up the more expensive pieces and treat yourself, you could. But also if you wanted to stick with a slightly cheaper item, but still get the Misha X Picanita style, you could go with the scrunchies or the socks or the Kasha clip. There are so many different items and such a variety of items that you can style in a million different ways that I just hope that there's something for everyone and I do think there is something for everyone um and people have been like oh I wish that there could have been more in the collection and it's like guys trust me we could have gone for about 10,000 years but obviously this is our first collection we kind of need to take it a bit slow and not release 10,000 products um and even when we first came up with the concept I thought I'd get to design like three or four items I did not think I'd get the flexibility to do literally this many like I'm so happy with how many is part of the collection um because it gives you guys a good variety but it also 
doesn't make you guys confused as like oh my god I want every single item and I, it's too much to get all of them um, and you guys know you can pick up the Christmas box which is £99 for the whole collection which is actually the same price as buying two of these palettes just saying and then I have do you have any doubts about what you wanted to name each piece now as I just said about the Molly Mae scrunchies I actually did it wasn't until shoot day because that was the first time I was actually seeing the products in real life um, obviously I'd been sent videos and photos and was getting updates from the factory like every single day but um, it wasn't until I saw them in real life that me and mum kind of had a rejiggle honestly this one was originally the Misha headband the Mia headband was originally the Misha and then when me and mum saw the be the braided headband we thought actually I think this should be the Misha headband because it's the most I would say OTT actually but it's actually not but then it actually is it's really weird I feel like all the pieces depending on how you style them could be OTT or could be much more simple um but yeah I'm really happy with all the names in the end and Chloe is particularly happy because this is her absolute favourite piece of the collection, just like I knew it would be. That's what I tried to think about. I tried to think, out of all my friends, who would wear this piece? And should I name that piece then after them? So I knew the moment I designed all these pieces that this was going to be the Chloe crown. I knew. And Chloe's like, yes, I've got the top selling headband. whoop de doop de doo Wow, go me. I'm like, pipe down. I could have made that the Misha if I really wanted to. Um, but I knew that that'd be her. When I first sent her all the videos of all of them, um, she was like, oh my God, I love the two black ones. Because I know Chloe, she wears more black. And... Um, she was like, oh, I really like the bow one. And I was like, oh, poops, should I have named the bow one after her? But that one's more Georgia. Uh, because me and Georgia love a whole, like, Serena, Gossip Girl, Blair, Waldorf moment. And I do think this one is the most, like, this makes me think of me and Georgia when we went to France. When we went to Paris um, back in January when we literally had first met. This makes me think of her. So that's why this one is the Georgia May. Um, and then that one is the Chloe. And then the Misha is the Misha because I just think it reflects my style really well. And the Mia is the Mia because Mia is a very young little girl. And I think this one looks the most like cute and little. And although it's like obviously a, it's a full size headband, 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 it's the most like young little cutesy girl one with the little bees on it. Um, and then the Kasha bow, like was it gonna be anything else? Was that bow going to be anything else apart from the Kasha bow? The Anya slides, she requested them. She wanted to have um, the slides named after her because they're her sort of piece. And then the Sue socks. I just love the alliteration of Sue socks. Um, and then obviously I said about Molly Mae. So, okay, now. Obviously I said I wanted to steer clear of pinks. So, I really don't know, I don't know why I'm struggling so much. I think it's because I just want to touch every single one and play with every single one. I'm going to go in with spiralling. Spiralling and sleep paralysis are actually quite similar. Spiralling has a slight sheen, but I still think it will work. Oh yeah, it does, in the outer corner. I'm just packing it on, because it has a glitter, but it's not like OTT. Like, it's, it's acceptable, because you know me guys, I typically wouldn't put a glitter in the crease. Was it awkward when people who didn't have something named after them came to your event? And also there were quite a few questions about why an item wasn't named after Scarlet. So initially, the plan was actually to have um, the Scarlet socks or the Scarlet scrunchies, um, because again, I love the alliteration, because um, hopefully you guys know who I'm talking about, Scarlet London, um, one of my girls, but, Pick and to actually have um, an item already called Scarlet. It's a Scarlet, it's a red Scarlet headband. And I suggested the name to them and they were like, oh, we actually already have one. They go, we can work around it, we can do something. And I was like, oh, no, no, don't worry. Like, that's totally fine. Um, I'm happy to um, just let Scarlet know. I'm sure Scarlet wouldn't have been offended anyway, but I still let her know just that. I didn't want to name a piece after her, but sadly it didn't work out like that. Um, it was like that actually with quite a few of the girls because obviously a lot of my friends have quite popular girl names so they've already been used and I wanted them to be slightly different um, hence why the name Chloe is so great because Chloe spells it in a really weird way in case you didn't know, best friend Chloe spells it K-L-O-E I know, weird I'm trying to make sure this look is at 
absolutely seamless because I feel like there is a pressure in the fact that this is a very big collaboration and palette that the look needs to be perfect. Not that they're going to be seeing this, but you know, I did die when I saw that Shane Dawson tweeted about Bloomin' Jordan's video. I was like, fair play, queen. You just got tweeted about by Bloomin' Shane Dawson. Go in with a flat brush. And I'm going to go into Celique Paralysis. It's a stunning colour. Absolutely stunning. If my camera would focus, it's stunning. Oh, look how great that looks. And I'm going to pop it on like the outer half of my eyeball. Oh wow, it's got, oh, look at that. It's got a great shimmer. Stunning. Annoyingly, this is going to make me want so many Jeffree Star products. And yeah gonna go with it i wonder what he's gonna bring out next like where do you go to next after having a collaboration with shane dawson i wonder if they're gonna do another one i feel like they won't that is an absolutely beautiful shade of eyeshadow but in terms of fallout i've just put a glitter on well it's not like a glitter but it's very shiny there's a little bit of fallout in the palette but like under my eyes no it's just my eye bag and i'm gonna go in with just a theory and I'm gonna put that on the inner half slash third ish of my eye. So it's kind of like an ombre effect. Oh my god, that looks beautiful! So then, back to whether people felt awkward coming to my event or I felt awkward inviting people to my event that weren't named after them. There was only a limited amount of items, so I didn't have enough items for names so no no one minded literally when i because i never told chloe or mum that i was naming the items after people um but i discussed it with g um, and emily and they were like misha we would not mind if you didn't name an item after us um so yeah i she was like no one will so yeah i do think that's true i think everyone's happy for me they're not kicking off that there wasn't an item named after them. I wish I could have done everyone, but sadly not. And everyone gets that. We're not like little school kids getting annoyed because an item wasn't named after us sort of thing. Okay, now I'm actually gonna go into not a fact, not a fact, and put that in the outer corner. I probably should have done this before I did that spiraling one, but for some reason I've only just spotted it and realized it would go with the look. And let's do another question whilst we're doing so. Someone's put, not brutal, but this range couldn't be more brutal. Couldn't be more brutal? Not brutal, but this range couldn't be more you. So proud. And that has actually been, like, the top comment. And that makes me so, so happy. Everyone's just said how me the collection is. And that's what I always wanted. Like, I wanted this to perfectly reflect me. And I wanted it to be the perfect thing. And, like, I'm so, so happy with it. Like, obviously, since the launch i've seen your guys reaction and a million percent the top comment is it couldn't be any more you and that's great because it hasn't left i don't think a single person questioning whether i designed the collection you know you hear about these collaborations where people say oh you just stuck your name on it or people assume that and i haven't haven't actually received a single negative comment about the collaboration which i think is absolutely incredible it's really sad that i have to say that um because we shouldn't live in a world where people are negative but sadly that is the world that we live in um so to not have received one single negative comment touch wood i'm now gonna bloom and start it off aren't i um i was just really really happy so yeah that purpley color not a fact is stunning and then i'm not really a black person but i'm gonna go in with my rides here i don't know what my attempt at american accent is it's actually shocking i'm just gonna pop that in the outer crease i actually use a lot of the colors in here i'm quite impressed with myself and i've definitely gone for a look that i wouldn't normally think to go for I'd normally go for like the nudes and the pinks, but I'm digging it. Okay, this is what we're looking like. They're slightly different shapes because I am no makeup artist and I've got a very itchy nose. Um, but I'm just going to give them a final blend through. 
I'll probably do my last question. And also a top question is how long did it take to design the collection? Now, to be truth, fully honest, to be truthfully honest, to be completely honest, we actually had a very limited time window um, because the collaboration was agreed in like October, no, September. I'm honestly not sure, but basically we both knew, me and Picanita this is, that we wanted to get the Christmas, the collection out for Christmas um, and we didn't want to wait. So we actually had six weeks to design the collection, have it made, have the shoe, arrange the event. This is why I have been all over the place for the last month and a half. Um, just because there's been a lot going on a lot going on um but i'm really glad that we did push ourselves to get it out for them because i just think that it was a really great move for us um and yeah i'm glad we got it out when we did and just made me really happy to be able to see it for christmas time and just proves that we could make work with the time scales that we had you know anything is possible if you knuckle down and you put your all into it so that is exactly what we did okay i'm gonna move on to my actual makeup um i'm gonna try and do this really quickly because i know this video is gonna end up being really long i'm gonna take the l'oreal true match foundation this is in true beige we'll find out if this is the right color for me no i know it's gonna be darker than my face but my body and my neck is a lot darker than my face now another interesting question is whether i profit from the sales so do i get a commission now i feel like everyone understands the whole process a little bit more obviously because of the jeffree star cosmetics um and jane dawson series so i am not making a commission on the sales at all i don't make a single penny uh on sales i'm pushing the items because i love them and i want them to do really well me and Picanita agreed to a flat fee. So I theoretically have done all my work. Um, but obviously that is not how I work. I am not the sort of person that would be led to do more just because they make a commission. I want this collection to do amazing and I want you guys to love it because that's the sort of person I am. Um, so if you see me posting about it, don't think it's because, oh, Misha just wants to make coin. Because that is not. I'm posting about it because I love it. And I want you guys to love it too. You get what I mean? I'm not going to lie, I'm really not a fan of these BH Cosmetics brushes. I think they're a bit rubbish. Sorry. Concealer, I'm going to use the Lasting Matte Concealer. By, what is this, Rimmel? Oh, Rimmel. I was going to say how weird it doesn't say, but no, it's just that it's so dirty that you can't read it. Love that gonna grab that and then i'm gonna blend i'm gonna blend now i'm also just gonna add a tiny bit of revolution conceal and hydrate c6 because this is just slightly more full coverage and i have got very bad underbags atm underbags under eye bags this is in a beauty bakery powder pot but it's actually the revolution banana setting powder um it's literally like five pounds and it's great but I did use G's Laura Mercier one the other day. And I was like, I shouldn't be doing this. It's going to make me miss it. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to purchase it. It's a very good powder. I would recommend it. But it's very expensive. And I have lots of affordable options. Now, I'm kind of tempted to try and use some of the eyeshadows on my face. Hi, editing Misha. So... When I filmed this, I hadn't watched Jeffrey's video. Now I've watched Jeffrey's video. So I thought I was being really inventive about using the eyeshadows for your face makeup. Turns out he's already done it. But, you know, I still didn't realise. So I kind of did it of my own accord. Yeah? Anyway, enjoy. Um, so I'm going to try and take some diet root beer. See if I could use that. Oh my god, that's a great shade of bronzer. Like a contoury bronzing shade. Again, why am I using these brushes? They're not very good. Wow, look at me go. That's actually worked. 
an absolute treat. Basically gonna get through all the shades at this point. I am also gonna go into my Milani bronzer just to glow it up a little bit because I like a bronzy, like glowy, sparkly bronzer. And obviously the eyeshadow is matte diet root there. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing with blusher and I'm gonna go into pigmeat. I feel like this will be an absolutely stunning blusher. Oh, I was right. That was absolutely beautiful. Wow. Stunning. If I was brave, I'd put Trish over the top, but I'm a bit too scared by that. I don't want to ruin my whole entire face of makeup. Now, I'm going to dip into Ranch and Just a Theory to try and make a highlight. Wow, look at me go guys. I'm so inventive. Right, okay, let's do my eyebrows. Now actually, what I did the other day, and I actually got a lot of people saying about how nice my eyebrows looked. I just took my Benefit Clear Brow Gel, which is a 24 hour setter, and I literally just used that and spiked up my bad boys. I have naturally got quite good brows without tooting my own horn. Um, the only bit I like to sometimes then draw in is just at the front, they're quite light, so like you can't see the starting line. Um, but I'm gonna go with it, we're just gonna go for the bushy brow look. Now, let's do the bottom lash line. Um, I don't really know what I'm thinking. Maybe I do not a fact in the outer just to match up that like purpley tone. And then I go in with pigmeat on the like inner bit. Well, oh, that's pretty, very pretty. If you wanted to go extra crazy, you could put like diet, oh, maybe I'll put the tiniest bit. So let's see if you're going really crazy and then I'm like, oh, maybe I'll try that. I'm going to grab some diet cola, which is like this sparkly silvery shade not that you guys can see and then just pop that on my inner corner oh yes queen and i'm gonna go back in with a fluffy brush and i'm gonna use ranch and just a theory to highlight the brow bone now let's pop on some mascara i've been obsessed with this one by bare minerals it's the lash topia mascara it is so good i don't know why when i'm sticking lashes i still go into so much effort just whilst my mascara dries a little bit i'm gonna pencil back in my moles which definitely gets some controversy um People are like, why would you pencil them back in? Like, you look like an idiot. Like, you look like you've got these black dots on your face. And I'm like, because I like them. And they get covered by makeup. There we go. They're just part of me that I like to have. Lashes wise, I got Molly's Tatty Lashes collaboration here. And I don't know which to go for. It's like a day and night thing. Every day after hours. Do I just go in with the every day? Maybe I go in with the every day. I've already got enough going on in my eyes. ATM. I'm gonna wonder when Jeffrey's gonna bring out eyelashes. That will be huge. Oh, it comes with a little glue, but I mean, I never use the glue it comes with. Maybe I'll try it just to give them a fair shot. And then I'm gonna take them off and see if they need to be cut down. Typically lashes do, but these don't look mega long. Oh no, I think I can get away with not cutting them. So let's try this glue. I actually now, because these are quite thin lashes, they're quite fiddly for my long nails. Oh, see what I mean? They're just getting stuck. Ah, come back. Don't get glue on the Jeffree Star palette. Okay, okay, lashes are on and fair play, I'm actually digging them because they are quite thin they are a little bit tricky to get on but once they're on beautiful okay i'm gonna put some white eyeliner this is a really old mac one so it isn't that white i was gonna answer a final question and i can't remember what it was but i picked out 
a question that I wanted to answer and I completely lost it. I think we all knew that though. Oh, I remember it was why I chose to do accessories and specifically hair accessories. Side note, I'm going to use this hot ombre lip kit which you put like the darker one and then the lighter one. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so the reason I decided to do accessories, particularly hair accessories, is because, okay, I'm now realizing I can't do lips and talk at the same time, is because I think every single person out there can wear a hair accessory, no matter their style, you can make it your style, you can style it in a million different ways, they will fit they are one size fits all. They don't have to be size specific, which I think is really great. There's something very unique to this industry. Like there is absolutely nothing like these pieces. Um, and I didn't just want to come out with like merch or something like that and just put like my name on a t-shirt. Fair play if that's your thing, but I would never wear something like that. So I wouldn't want to sell that to you guys. Uh, and I mean, what's not to love about a hair accessory? They're absolutely fabulous. Especially the Vicky Nita X Misha Grimes ones. So, I've got the darker one on, and now I'm going to go in with the lighter one. Well, I've never really had an ombre lip before, but I kind of dig it. Now, the final step I'm going to do is spray some of this. It came in my glossy box, and it's the Candy Cosmetics The Pre Glow Up Mist. I'm going to use it over there on my body, and it looked great. So, okay, I'm gonna bring you literally into my ring light so we can have a final evaluation of the makeup look and the eyeshadow palette. Okay, so here we go. Okay, first, this lip is stunning. I'm really liking it. And then here we have the eyeshadow look. Now, I wish I could be like one of those really cool and classy MUAs who do like some jazzy little edits of like the eyeshadow, but I'm not. So this is what it looks like when a normal human uses the Shane Dawson Extra Freestyle Palette. And I'm totally, wholeheartedly obsessed with it. I think this look is seamless, stunning, and a little bit out of the box for me, which I really, really like. So yeah, this is my completed makeup look. Like, zoom you guys out a little bit, so you all, all zoom you in. All zoom you in, at least you can see the eyeshadow a bit more. Wow, there's my eyeball. I didn't even know my camera could zoom in this much, but let's look down and show you. Stunning. Okay, let's, oh, no, no. Let's zoom out. Let's zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Okay, here we go. Here is the finished look. I think this look actually really complements my little Picanita X Misha Grimes scrunchie. And yeah, it's been really fun just sitting down and chatting with you guys. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of video. Um, let me know what you've picked up from the collection already or what you want to pick up. Of course, I'll link it down below. Don't forget there is a giveaway. So comment on this video and then follow me and Picanita to be able to win the entire Christmas box collection. And yeah, I've had fun playing with some makeup. Up. I will link the palette down below. Hopefully it's still in stock, but we shall see. But yeah, to the bit guys. I love you lots. Thanks for sending in the questions and make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.